Hey guys, this is Tom Warren with The Verge, and we're looking at the new Dell XPS 15, which is essentially the bigger version of the Dell XPS 13 that we saw at CES earlier this year. First thing you really notice is the display. So the bezels are super thin around the outside, just like the XPS 13. Um, and it's also 4K, um, so you're gonna get a lot of resolution here. What's kind of interesting about this is that Dell's offering a, H a hard drive option and an SSD option. If you go for the SSD one, you're gonna get the touch um, display that we're looking at here. And um, if you go for the hard drive one, then you get the full HD non-touch display. But also if you go for the SSD option, um, you'll actually get a little, perhaps a little bit more battery life just because there's a bigger battery inside. You've also got bigger trackpad than the XPS 13 due to the size. Um, still pre precision, it seems pretty smooth. I don't know that they've improved it much from the last XPS 15. On the side is the most interesting addition in terms of ports here. So they've added a USB Type-C um, port. And, and Dell's opting for Thunderbolt 3 compatibility with this, so you can plug in those sort of devices. But you can also charge the XPS 15 with this if you really want to. Um, you've also got a full HDMI port um, and the regular sort of USB ports on either side. And in, in terms of construction, you've also got the carbon fiber uh, palm rest. Um, it's machine aluminum all over, and obviously the edge, to edge display. And in terms of the weight, um, it's under four pounds if you're opting for a certain specification. It goes all the way up to like roughly four and a half pounds. So it starts at $999 for the Core i3 version, which then goes all the way up to a Core i7. And it should start shipping very shortly, so you'll be able to get one pretty soon.